It was also come at a good time because like we did kind of sign up for a rough ride when we were like <laughs> we kind of took over hosting as like me and Vince specifically the part of me that identifies as a persecutor I wanted to fuse with the host, the host wanted to fuse with me along with like a few caretaking parts a couple of animal alters, trauma holding parts like over the last two years it's not been a quick process like two plus two years of therapy I guess integration and then fusion between those parts and I feel like at this point I'd say I feel successfully fused. I don't feel like I disconnect from parts of me. But then the new problems are like, holy shit, I'm fucking tired all the time. I'm exhausted. Everything feels a lot more real and hits a lot harder. And I get triggered a lot more and a lot more easily. Unexpectedly, it's me fucking ride, you know. This is like, yeah, I, every part of me is in, like, knew what we were getting in, what well, we didn't, but we knew that we didn't know what we were getting in for, and we still wanted it, and I don't regret that decision one bit. Just also, like, a parcel said that it had been delivered earlier and it hasn't, and I got so triggered, and I haven't even worked out really why that made me so upset, but I just felt like just could not fucking cope. I couldn't deal with the go to knock on the neighbours. I can't explain to you how fucking it just made me want to, it, it just made me feel like the whole world was towering over me, which I guess is like part of flashbacks. And then like I was just caving into myself and there was this feeling of helplessness and incapable and like everyone was attacking me like it was all deliberate like people were intentionally trying to just make my life harder and the unfairness and the knowledge that I wouldn't be heard like it was really scary and really unbearable and I really felt like I couldn't fucking deal with it I sent an email and I couldn't think clearly and then I had to cancel the email like send another email to say just ignore me this is fine because actually it wasn't the item wasn't delivered I just I copy and pasted the code to track it and it pasted something that wasn't that code I don't know how or why but I was triggered so it's easy to think that I could have misunderstood something I was doing even though I don't understand how that like it didn't look like something I'd done at the time or technology could have been fucking up I don't know but either way that just was so I felt so raw and so shaky and so tearful and then like so many more of those things because it's a fucking parcel Sorry, that's really dismissive, because it's not just a fucking parcel, is it? It's like a whole life. I don't know exactly what that triggered yet, but I know that it's like a whole life of invalidation and having to be overly responsible at ages where we should not have had that much responsibility and being abused and unheard and bullied and dismissed and left in dangerous situations and traumatised. And I don't know what triggered it, but or like what triggered what but I know that something there was bigger than just the parcel I'm sorry I judged us for being like it's just the fucking parcel I hate having such a strong reaction for just a parcel because it wasn't just a parcel even if I don't understand exactly what happened now <sighs> I think it's just shocking to me and I felt scared but I could have such an uncontrollable such an intense response and like is something of this level going to make me feel this level of response like throughout the day every day because then I feel like I'm not gonna be able to just front and deal with things but I guess you know switching more is kind of a really good thing because then I can still front but I can focus on the healing and on working through the trauma and I don't have to be the one that does everything anymore like the phone calls and dealing with the mail and like stuff that there's a lot of grief and loss and accepting that there are some things I can't deal with anymore if I want to be able to deal with the trauma as well I guess but I choose us hands down every part of me 
and that means that there's other activities and other things that I have to learn how to, like, it's not divulge, so that's not quite the word, default, defer to other people, displace, <laughs> shit there's a word for this, anyway I have to, whatever that word is, it's kind of hard to accept but, I think it's right that we focus on just surviving, holding the trauma we hold, and have other people help us.